This is a honey extractor. This is a frame of honey. This is how bees store honey. This is how we store honey. I'm going to show you how to take the honey out of this, using this, and putting it in this. This is a honey extractor that spins the honey out of the honeycomb. This is not my honey extractor. A friend of mine owns this extractor and I get to use it every once in a while when I have a lot of honey in frames that I need spun out. You may have seen, if you've been around the Daddy Curbs Farm YouTube channel long enough, us at some point extracting the honey out of these frames by crushing and straining the wax and honey. That method works, but it's pretty destructive the bees work really hard at building this wax comb and it's nice to be able to put it back in the hive so they can reuse it. When I only have a few frames, crush and strain is okay, but when I have a lot of frames, I like to use the extractor. This extractor is a fairly inexpensive model, but it's pretty cool how it works. The frames will sit down into these baskets and when I spin it using this handle, the honey will be thrown against the walls and fall down into the bottom of the extractor. In the bottom of this extractor is a screen to separate the wax and all the bits that we don't want in our honey. The rest of the honey will fall down into this holding tank. After we've extracted a lot of honey and this is full, we can move it up to the countertop and use the spout to fill up the jars and the bottles. Each of these frames is full of honey, but there's a wax cap on top of the honey. Before it can be extracted, we need to use a tool like a knife or a fork to open these caps to take the tops of that wax capping off. Our goal is to get the caps cut off without destroying the comb. As always, keep in mind that I'm here to share my experience and not show you a perfect how-to. Some of this comb worked out really well, some of it didn't. Well, we're going to place this frame into the extractor. And then continue cleaning off another frame. Beautiful. And that's what we're looking for is for that honeycomb shape. All of that comb that they worked really hard to build will remain in the frame. On some of these frames, the wax cappings are kind of lower than the edge of the, the wood. And in this case, I'll just kind of break them open with a fork. The extractor will hold four of this size frame. This is the six and five eighths medium frame. So we're gonna get four of them cleaned up and put into the extractor and we can spin them all at one time. get a little better at this with each frame. The goal is to have mostly wax in here, not so much honey. I have these loaded in opposite directions, the top of the frames going this direction on that side, and then facing the same way on this side, which actually makes them opposite to each other. It does not have to be fast, just nice and steady. You can see it being thrown against the walls. The goal is slow and steady. When I first started using this extractor, this I think is my third time using this extractor. The first time we used it, I thought you had to just crank this thing as hard as you could and that actually is counterproductive. It's harder on you, it's harder on the machine, and the honey doesn't come out any better. Slow and steady is the way to go. And that side is mostly extracted. There's a little bit left, so we'll do it just a little longer. But that's the way it goes right there. It spins right out. 
taste the honey. Get some right there. There you go, right in the corner. Oh, yummy. Taste it. Is it good? They feel a lot lighter. You can see the honey's been spun out. This comb has been preserved mostly, except for where I kind of snagged it with the knife and fork. But the bees still get to keep a lot of that comb and they can put that back to work really fast. As a fun intermission, I wanna show you what the wax looks like after I strain all the honey off of this wax, I'll want to melt this wax down so that we can use it in other projects, for example, maybe lip balm or whatever we decide to make with the wax. I'll put all those wax cappings in a container like this, which is just a paper milk carton. And this one is solid. I'll put it in the oven at a very low temperature. And I want to show you what it looks like after it's cooled off. The bottom of the wax is where all of the sediment, the pollen, and all the things that you don't want in your wax settles to the bottom. You can take this block of wax and use a hot knife and cut that excess part off where all the, the dregs go, the part that you don't want in your wax, and that leaves a fairly clean wax for you to use in your beauty products or your lotions or your salves or whatever you decide to make from your beeswax. We have nine additional frames to spin out, so I'm gonna get that done, and then we'll take a look at what all that honey looks like. This is the last frame of all of them I need to extract today. pull the top of this off right away because there's still lots of honey that's draining down into the bottom. But when we do, I'm hoping this is full of honey. All of this needs to be crushed and strained before we melt this wax. This is my typical method for crushing and straining. I get a large bowl, a wire mesh, and a colander. And I'll just fill this colander up with the wax and honey. It does need broken up a bit. Gravity is going to take all that honey out of this wax and drip it down into that bottom bowl. By morning, this will be wax on top and honey in the bottom bowl. And now I get to lick my fingers. Before we wrap this video up, I want to see how much honey we got in here. I haven't looked in. All we did was lift this up to get elevated above this bucket. This is one of my honey buckets. It has the gate, same as this. So we're going to drain honey out of here and into here so we can see it and see how much there is. The final step is to put the honey from the storage bucket into the containers that you're going to keep them in or sell them. Right now we're just using regular pint jars. And that right there is the first pint of honey from the Daddy Curbs Farm for 2017. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode where we extract the honey and reap a little bit of reward for our efforts. If this is your first time joining me here on the Daddy Curbs Farm, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. The thumbs up lets YouTube know that you appreciate what's going on here. And look forward for more beekeeping and honey episodes as well as plenty of other homesteading themes here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. I'll talk to you soon.
is very much like filleting a fish. <laughs>